So this A1200 drive doesn't work at all. If you put a disc in, yeah, it spins it and then it does nothing. I don't hear the Amiga heartbeat as well. I'll see if I can fix it, but I don't have a good track record with these. The last one I tried to fix. I did make it better, but I never fully fixed it. So just take this bracket off to start with. I think I can just get the, once I've got this off, I can get the top off. Mitsumi Co Limited. Model D357T2. I think this just... Oh, there we go. Ah, there we go. Okay, oh. There's quite a lot of gunk on the worm drive. I don't know if it's completely gunked up. Yeah, there's quite a bit of gunk on that. Just on here. Right, let me just try and clean some of that off. Got about a million of these. <laughs> doesn't look completely bad. I mean, it is dirty, but that is just grease. So would expect to see some grease on there. It's just alcohol, by the way. I'm not sure that it's this that's stopping it, but if it is covered in gunk, I, I think it might have an electrical problem because I would expect it to have done something. But if this thing hasn't been turned for a long time, maybe it's got stuck. Oh, there we go. So I'm moving it. So if it was stuck, I've maybe just freed it. So it might be worth giving it another go now. If that's the only problem, then I've got lucky. But I don't think it's going to move it because I think there's some kind of electrical fault. It's also got three electrolytic caps that I can see as well. So they could be gone. That was the problem with the last drive, actually. It had bad electrolytic caps, but they were surface mount ones. These ones don't quite look as bad. Just give the heads a little clean in case it decides it wants to read a disc. Let's just try that, see if that has changed anything. I've just cleaned some grease. I don't think that's gonna make any difference, but you never know until you try. Computer's on. I think that's exactly the same. It should be trying to move that worm drive. So there's it spinning the disc. And it can't do anything. So it's not even attempting. It's not even attempting to move that. So it wasn't gunked up. So what have we got? Okay, so I've got the drive upside down and it's plugged in. And I've been trying to find out what's going on with it. I've measured the voltages coming in here. We do have these two center pins are ground. I think the red is 12 and the brown is five volts. I've measured those, those are all good. It's just this stepper motor just doesn't do anything. So it's got these four wires and I believe that two of these are connected together and two of the other ones are connected together because it's like two coils that drive the motor. That's my understanding of it anyway. But the thing that is perplexing me is they all appear to be shorted together. So if I just test like these two, like those two are connected, these two are connected, these two are connected. So yeah, every pin is connected to every other. I can only assume that either something's shorted out on here or this whole motor is shot and it's just shorted out inside there. Um, I've been looking up this and I found the data sheet for it. It's an NEC PD16803, that, that is the stepper motor driver chip. It's an ideal as the driver circuit for a two-phase excitation bipolar driven stepping motor for the head actuator of a floppy disk drive. I have actually been uh, probing around on this with the oscilloscope to see if I could find out anything about it. It is getting inputs, it's getting like pulsing inputs and it does have the four outputs that go to these. But um, again, because they're all shorted, it just doesn't seem to make any sense that it's trying to drive two of these lines and then two other lines. I think it's these, I think it's the fourth one down here, this one. But you see they're shorted and they're shorted, which is correct. But then if I check opposite pins, it doesn't make any difference. They're all shorted together. So there could be a short inside this chip or there could be a short inside the motor. Um, maybe the motor's just blown up or something. I don't know. I don't think there can be a short anywhere else on the board because I think these this chip directly drives this. I mean, you can almost see the lines coming through here. Like there's a line from there to there. It jumps to here and then it goes into the chip and connects to 
There is it, or this one? Maybe it's this one. One of these. There it is. But they're all connected together, so that really doesn't make any sense. And and there is actually an example diagram, and you can see that it's like the charge pump's got three capacitors on it, and that's that's these three capacitors here, and these aren't shorted. So these are all right. So th these are so this does look like the example diagram. Uh, where are they connected? Up here somewhere, maybe to that one. There you go. They probably have set up the circuit that's on here, and these this 1A and 1B are like the fourth pin down and the fifth pin down on each side. So I don't know what to try. I could just try desoldering these connectors on this and just seeing if this motor itself, just on its own, is all shorted together. So let me boot the soldering iron up and I'll test the motor on its own. So at least I'll know the motor isn't shorted then. If the motor isn't shorted, I think it can only be that this, this chip here has gone bad. And if that's the case, I don't really have a replacement. So I don't know that it could be anything else. There doesn't appear to be anything else on here that can short, which will be a shame because that means this drive won't be repairable. I might just desolder these, these two here. There's one. Is that, is that disconnected? So these two, I think, are connected. Yeah, so that's 75 ohms. So they, those two are connected. Let's try the other two. They are 75 ohms as well. So let me just measure between this yellow one and blue one. They should not be connected. If they are, then the motor is shot. I could have just measured these on here where the solder joints are. This is much easier. So they're connected. They're not. They're not. They're, those two are connected. So white and yellow are connected. Blue and red are connected. Everything else is not connected. That makes sense. The motor's not shot. There's nothing wrong with the motor. It can only be this chip, I think, because there's nothing else between here and there. There's literally nothing else. I think this chip must have gone bad. So it's this, uh, let me check. So it's 1A and 1B are, it's pin four and the opposite pin, which is down here, one, two, three, four. And if I go down another two, I think it's here. This is 2A and 2B. Yeah, I wonder, 1A and 1B are now shorted. I might not expect this when this thing isn't powered on, I'm not exactly sure. But 2A and 2B, which is pin six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the opposite pin. They're not shorted. I don't think that's right. I don't think this driver chip should have these two pins shorted together. Well, I, I don't really know, but I, I can only suspect that there's something wrong with this little stepper motor driver that it's gone bad, maybe. Because there's just nothing else in there. I mean, I've checked the voltages going to it and everything, it's getting, it's getting its 12 volts and everything like that. So yeah, I wonder, I don't know if there's anything else wrong with this. I mean, I haven't, I know there's these three, there's a couple of caps that are on the five volt line and the 12 volt line, they're underneath the board there. I've checked that they're not short, I've checked that they're giving out some kind of capacitance and they are. And there is one more on the board over here and I don't know what that one does. But that one wasn't sure either and was also providing some kind of capacitance. I don't think those capacitors are bad. I mean, they could be. I know they could stop the whole thing from working. So I think I'm going to call it a day on this. I'm going to put it down to this driver chip being bad. It could be something else. I don't know. I might just resolder these while I'm here. But yeah, so I did say I don't have much luck with these. And I thought it was going to be... I mean, I was hoping it was a mechanical problem, but the fact that the stepper motor isn't moving at all says that it's not. If I had another one of these drives, I'd be able to get um, a comparison. And let's just see if we've uh, shorted everything out again now. Yeah, we have. So seems very wrong that that whole thing is shorted out. So yeah, so I'm gonna call it a day on this drive. I'm gonna say right now that I can't fix this. Maybe if I get another one of these in the future, this could be used for parts. Seems like it's mostly working but this stepper motor just won't work. So that's a shame. I have got another drive that doesn't fully work properly, but it can load games. So I'll use that for now, and then I'll move on to recapping the motherboard, because I've not even looked at that yet. So that'd be the next thing I'd do.